I've been waiting for this product for 20 years. It beats makeup. It's a trifecta. And there's nothing wrong with men and a little makeup. Trust me, I like it. I do it all the time. Hello, GQ Sports. I'm Alex Rodriguez, and these are my essentials. Cut one, baby. This essential is a must, is my notebook, and is my A-Rod Corp leather notebook. Now, a couple of interesting features here. I always forget the pen. Early on, I would always ask people in meetings, hey, can I borrow a pen? Uh, is there a pen? Thank you. So pen is important. The other feature that's really important is I write so much junk, this divider here is perfect. So if I have my baseball notes, or if I have business notes, or if I have to give a little gift to my daughters or something, or, or a little Max, is right here. The logo is the same logo that's on my sneakers, which I will tell you about later, but it's just my little A-Rod Corp logo. Notebook, never leave home without it. This is essential, is very important. This is my, it's called Complexion Booster Sun Goddess. So this lotion gives me a little bit of bronze it also uh, gives me a little bit of sunblock and a little bit of moisturizer. So this is something that I'm coming out very soon. This is called a teaser. And all the men around the world are gonna fall in love with this product, I promise you. I've been waiting for this product for 20 years. Yeah, because as a baseball player, we take on so much sun and we take such a beating that if you can have a moisture that can give you moisture, sunblock and a little bit of color, it is perfect. It beats makeup, it's a trifecta. And there's nothing wrong with men and a little makeup. Trust me, I like it, I do it all the time. Coming soon, it smells, smells delicious. It is huge, but I love it because I have my phone, I have my iPad in meetings, I always bring out my notes, um, I keep a lot of notes, I have my Netflix, I have uh, ESPN Plus, this is great, this is amazing. And uh, if I'm in a meeting and my girls are bored, I just hand it over, they're on Instagram, they're on TikTok, whatever the name of that show is. Uh, it's awesome. Never leave home with an iPad. And the large size is like McDonald's. You need big, big. So sometimes you have a really, really busy day. I'm always checking out yoga classes, especially hot yoga. And uh, anytime I have an hour to spare, I have my t-shirt, my shorts, and a little bag. I have my sneakers and my socks. Anytime you can get a great sweat in the middle of the day is perfect. I like to go usually black, and I'm, I'm a big uh, jogging pants guy with a t-shirt. I like to sweat in my legs. The other thing is, the reason why I like jogging pants is I wore pinstripes for so many years. So I'm actually used to having my legs covered. I hardly ever wear shorts. Well, if you see my legs, maybe you wouldn't wear shorts either. Now, when you have lips as big as me, you need to invest a lot into chapstick. When I was 11 years old, I went to travel from Miami, where I grew up, and we took a trip to San Francisco. And of course, not knowing any better, it was the middle of summer, so I packed a bunch of shorts, t-shirts, I thought it was gonna be really hot. And then I found out that famous saying that the coldest winter was my summer in San Francisco. I was freezing and my lips, I had like, I looked like the Joker. I had dry lips, I didn't know what was going on. I needed to get back to Miami, to the warmth, to the humidity. Miami's home, 305, baby. But I still need chapstick and so do you. I like Orbit gum. I like a gum that uh, doesn't have sugar. But one of the biggest pet peeves that I have is people that have bad breath. The people with worse breath, you ever notice? They wanna speak really close to you. I don't get it. So uh, I'll say like, hey Anita, do we have any gum? And she'll come, I go, oh, thank you. You want one? <laughs> and uh, I just always keep them nearby in the uh, car, plane, anywhere. We just always have gum anywhere, or just mints, so. Don't leave home without your gum. This essential holds essentials. Once a Yankee, Yankee for life. 
Uh, I know you Red Sox guys are, people are hating me right now, but anyways, uh, yeah, you open it up and you have you know some lotion, always have a good razor, Buffett's Company Gillette. <laughs> I have my, uh, my Ralph Lauren Polo cologne, and uh, yeah, a lot of cool things. Toothbrush, uh, a little bit of uh, toothpick in here. A lot. Yeah. I'm, I used to be a player, now I'm a fan. Sorry. Jeff, do a boomerang. My next essential is very important, is sunglasses. Now, as a young lad growing up in Miami, I never wore sunglasses. One, because I didn't really need them. Two, I couldn't afford them. Then the doctor told me, uh, or Yankee doctor told me that with light eyes, you need to protect them. So I started wearing sunglasses and then I got addicted to them. Now it's part of your uniform. My uniform used to be pinstripes, now my uniform is sunglasses. And uh, it also becomes kind of a cool fashion thing. You can also wear them and rock them, but so cool sunglasses, I have many, many pairs. How many pairs? Uh, probably like 20, maybe 30. Here's the rule with sunglasses. Anytime I have sunglasses that cost more than $200, Within 48 hours, I feel like I lose them. If I buy sunglasses at 7-Eleven for seven bucks, I can have them for four years. I try to lose them, they pop up in my face. I can't lose them. I wish they were reversed. These are free because they sent them to me and if they're expensive, I still didn't pay for them. <laughs> There's no way. I am frugal, baby, frugal. <laughs> you ever seen someone on television and their collars like popping out like this? It drives me crazy. I want to go through the tube and say, dude, you got to fix your collar. So um, a lot of folks don't know about this, but I use the metal ones, not the plastic ones. And uh, basically you take something like this and you go up in here and you just pop one in there very easily if I can do it. I usually have a mirror, but I don't need one because I'm like a magician. You know what I mean? I'm very easy. You know. <laughs> but um, anyways, yeah, it usually goes in there, you got I promise you. And then it just stays nice and firm, and especially with ties. This is a very essential part of my wardrobe. Now, I'm not a jewelry guy. For me, uh, there's probably two ways that I express myself is through my glasses, like we talked about, and uh, with my watch. And uh, I have a nice watch collection. I don't have anything like 20 watches, but I have probably like half a dozen watches that I like. And again, depending on what kind of mood I'm in, I'll mix it up. And a lot of times when I wear suits, I, I usually like to wear a leather band with a flat um, face. That way my suit can go over. And uh, other times you kind of wear a more bulky watch. You feel a little bit more like a lion and you want to attack and be aggressive. Then you put on something like that. But uh, this is a Rolex and uh, uh, is white gold and it's got a nice face, kind of like a, I guess, oyster blue or something. It kind of just changes with the light. I probably got this a couple years ago and uh, it's a fun one. It's one that, you know, you can have forever. My last essential, but not least, is um, my cool new kicks. And they're called the Corp. Couple special features is we have my logo and uh, a little humble brag, <laughs> or not humble, <laughs> uh, 696 right here. The reason why I love these, it has a little bit of baseball stitching right there. There's so many times you're dressed up and you're not sure if you're kind of wanna go formal or casual. Um, you wanna wear a suit or jeans, and I love something that you can actually wear with both. They come in white, blue, black, and then we're gonna go into university colors. Hurricane green is gonna be awesome for Miami Hurricanes, of course. But um, this is a design that I really liked. Back in the day, I grew up with really loving my man, man, Charles Barkley, and he had his Nike Air Force ones. Inspiration from Charles Barkley, uh, some of my Nike shoes, I had a relationship with Nike for over 20 years, but they're called the Corp. That's it, the Corp, for my podcast uh, with Barstool. So very cool and uh, very comfortable. I hope I see all of you rocking them.
Hey, GQ Sports, this is Alex Rodriguez. Alex, that's a wrap. Boom. Thank you so much. All right. That's it. Good stuff.